At first, I was a little bothered by how unevenly split the diamond ships are with pink, having the entire lower half. White having a torso and head, while blue and yellow just have arms. But thinking on it, I think it's actually a clever way of showing different types of thinking. Blue has a left arm, representing right brain thinking. Yellow has a right arm, for left brain thinking. White thinks with her head, and pink thinks with her... <laughs> hey, me lore, 22 sexy as fuck. Always running, and when I'm not running, I'm thinking of running. Hate smart shit like books and love pastels. Me lore now. Not a himbo, I swear. Pfft, screw your knives! Strap a claymore to a Roomba! Unleash Sir Stabby! Here's a friendly reminder that nothing in your life can ever be as difficult as Mr. Ratburn's THIRD GRADE CLASS! Who the hell's all that shit on the board? This is a PSA. Coca-Cola is a health potion and Pepsi is a mana potion. Yo, what's grape soda? It's fucking purple, baby! I know this doesn't make any sense, but I just had a chocolate bar with orange and caramel, which is weird because it tasted like Pokemon the movie 2000. Oh my god, Pocketcho figured it out! That's why Pokemon 2000 is so good! Ah, uh, kill Bradley goes for a swim, smiley face. It, it, <laughs> what? 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 Me, the Tasmanian devil's a voracious predator and should not be engaged with. Also me. Ah, he who pupper. You know, I've repeatedly seen British people make fun of American food for apparently always being either too sweet or too salty. But our cuisine is pretty mild compared to a lot of other countries. And having repeatedly tried British food, I'm pretty sure the term you're looking for is... Having any flavor at all. Dude, Britain invaded over half the world for spices and then decided they didn't like any of them. You're half joking, but that is legitimately what happened! A new study published by scientists at the University of Bristol proves that spiders can sense the Earth's electric field and use it to fly through the air. Nature, what the fucker? Oh my god. Is that why this little good boy exists? The phrase, Grievous Injury, is named after General Grievous because of injuries led to him becoming a cyborg. And General Grievous is named after the extent of his injuries. My god, how bad were his injuries? Bad. Dang, I hope he's okay. Attention everyone, Santa is on strike due to global warming. All presents this year will be delivered by Sasha, the Christmas tiger. Milk and cookies may not be sufficient. What are goats even doing with those weird-ass rectangulars? The fuck? For peeking through your mailbox, staring at your knees, going through your garbage bins, and living in your trees. Ah, that's precious. Okay, I know this is a joke, but buckle up. Here we go. Oh, uh, sir, Stitch, a small logic-defying blue alien from outer fucking space needs a heterosexual romance. Okay, but we gotta know she's female, you understand? She needs long antennae, like long hair, mascara, smooth chest that sticks out a little more because we need to be reminded that she's still got titties even though she's a tiny fucking alien. Should we make her pink, sir? Ricky, you goddamn genius! Here are my keys, go to my house and fuck my wife! <laughs> it's always the last sentence that gets there, this one. Celine, SS 2015. I cannot comprehend how much I hate this shoe. This has left a disgusting taste in my mouth. It's like someone has eaten a whole banana skid included and not digested properly, and then pooped it out, and then just put their foot right into it, and whacked a black thingo on it and called it a shoe. I'm honestly in shock. This shoe must be worth like $400,000 dues for a banana poo. I hate this shoe. I hate him. Kill him now. Dude, why are you so heated over a shoe, my dude? There's something wrong. Did, like, did these shoes kill your family? The only thing I find upsetting about it is how uncomfortable it looks. It looks like a night slipper with a high heel on it. So, like, I, it looks like it would bend. And I don't like that. Today I learned the shortest correspondence in history was between Victor Hugo and his publisher in 1862. Inquiring about the sales of Les Miserables, Hugo telegraphed his publisher the single character message, question mark. Having sold out the first print in 24 hours, the reply was, exclamation point! I gotta point out that the shortest correspondence in history does not sound like Victor Hugo at all. Fruit-flavored snacks. Okay, but consider this snack-flavored fruits. 
You bite into a pineapple and taste like a Trisket? Yo, did you just figure out LaCroix's marketing strategy? All right, everyone, I feel like you'll appreciate this photo I took several years ago when I was in school of a raven getting spooked by something in the bushes. Quote the raven, 